Welcome back. Let us now do the business. The Agriculture Ministry has fronted a bill that seeks to outlaw the use of farmers' coffee or cooperative, so, so, cooperative assets as collateral for credit borrowing. C.S. Peter Munya, while launching the Coffee Bill 2020, said it will ensure that the farmers' rightful earnings are protected and without cartels that are benefiting at the expense of the farmer. With the fate of eight coffee factories affiliated to Romokia Cooperative Society in Nyeri at stake, due to a 163 million shillings debt burden, the Agriculture Ministry has now presented a bill that, if passed, will see the use of coffee cooperative assets as well as farmers' coffee as collateral outlawed. And we say there is no way you can take, uh, you know, assets. Kwa hivyo, tunataka kupeana hiyo uweso pale kwa factory. Ile inaitua pauping factory. After all, at the society level, there is even no milling going on there. Munya says mismanagement and the exploitation of farmers has led many farmers to abandon coffee farming, resulting in a further slump of a sector whose production has been dwindling. And these reforms are intended, therefore, to spur back the sector and give back confidence to the farmer so that farmers can reinvest in coffee production to support our economy and also support livelihoods of farmers. The bill demands coffee to be first subjected to the auction sales before the option of direct sale is taken. Munya says most direct sales often fetch a price lower than the offer at the auction. You will be forced to subject your coffee to the auction. You take it to the auction and then you make that price given by a direct buyer as the benchmark as the reserve price so that if somebody in the auction offers a, a higher price then the direct buyer is forced to either increase his money to uh, to mirror that that is what is in the auction or allows whoever is buying in the auction to buy the bill will see reintroduction of two percent levy on gross sales of all coffee to be remitted to the coffee research institute to support coffee research four percent coffee import levy to support coffee promotion as well as two percent buyers levy to support the coffee board and coffee growing counties the ministry fronted four other bills, including Fiber Crops Development Authority Bill 2020, Food Crops Development Bill 2020, Horticulture Crops Authority Bill 2020, and the Mira Pyrethrum and Industrial Crops Bill 2020. The bills will now be available for public discussion for the next 21 days and will be submitted to Parliament in a month's time.